that. So I'm going to hand over to Lynn. She can explain how she does it, what she does, and why she does it. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks very That's much, funny. Lynn. Thanks, Polly. Um, with the aid of my um, son and uh, my laptop failed, and the, um, so he managed to wire it up onto the a screen, a television screen as well. So I've got the, the mobile and looking up at a television screen, if you wonder why I'm looking up. <laughs> so it's great to be on here. Thanks to Pauline. Um, for those of you that don't know me, um, my name's Lynn Winpenny. I'm part of Rosher Federation, um, which Anne, who's on tonight, Anne McGee is the Federation Chairman. Um, I'm also the Press Secretary for the Rosher Federation. So um, you probably see the name now and again, because it's a name that you can't really forget, that's for sure. Um, so um, I've been in the WRI, which it was when I started, in 1991. Um, so it's coming up 30 years on and off since I've been in the WRI. Um, and I was 25 when I, still, when I went there yes. to, to Dingwall, Dingwall WRI. Um, where my mother is still uh, in. She's Pat McLeod, some, some of you may or may not know her. Um, she's been in it 54 years um, in the WRI. Um, but we've, we've, we're, we're lucky up in Russia because we have two shows a year and at some federations don't have that. Uh, they have a, a, a joint one, but we have a bulb and baking show and we have a handicraft show so the Balvin Bacon is in March and, and their handicraft show is in April but due to COVID um, unfortunately this year we managed to get a Balvin Bacon last year but this year unfortunately we didn't make it and we're hoping that fingers crossed our handicraft show is on in October um, and it's a good it's a very good show and um have you? Um, I haven't done, I don't think I have put glasses at all um, into the handicraft show. And I'd probably describe myself as a, a Heinz 57. I'm always um, thinking out of the box, but sometimes can go against you at the handicraft show because yes. yeah, some, some judges don't get it, but, you know, and um, you know, and yeah, you just take that. Um, but uh, I started doing glasses, which we're here today. I started doing glasses about a couple of years ago. Um, I like some off. Um, I have here. I've got one here. I don't know if you can see oh, it, maybe. So I just finished it today. Um, now, this, this vase I got out of Tesco's actually. Um, the pricely sum of a pound. Oh. And I painted it with these. Now, if any of you are familiar with the glass painting, does anyone do glass painting here? No. Well, it depends. If you, if you do glass painting, some people will have a preference, but I, I personally use it's called Peebo, which is P E B E O. And it's called Bits Round 160. So it means that you can actually put it in the oven. So when you paint it, once it, you let it dry, you can put it in the oven at 160 degrees for approximately 30, I actually leave it in a little bit longer, 30 minutes to 40 minutes to kind of pie it and do it, whatever you want. And, um, and then it's re ready after that. I like, I like to give them a clean afterwards. There's just bits and pieces that you, you miss. You obviously, you have to wait till it's cooled down. But these are the, you get these in hobby craft. Uh -huh. can work out quite expensive. Um, Amazon are doing this size, which is 45 mil at £4.25. So, you know, it's kind of cost, costly. It's a costly thing. Like everything is in craft. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give you a wee beware sign. I went and ordered a black because the black I had, I felt, wasn't black enough. So I went and ordered online and it came back and I never looked at it. And it was Peebo Bitreal, B I T R E I L. 
and I painted it and then it was only afterwards that I noticed it has a hazardous sign, flammable, mm. on it and I had put it in the oven. Oh. And I went, oh, oh my. And which is a different ball game because I do actually sell my glass. I'm self-employed now. Oh. Um, so I do part, part of what I do is the glasses, but if it's, it's, it works out as a hazardous thing, so it would have to have a hazardous uh, warning on it, et cetera. Oh, this kind of health and safety. Yeah. So I had already done 16 glasses with these mm. on it. Mm. So I, I can't, use, well, I can use them if I um, get all the, the paint off, I'm gonna go scrabbing that again. Mm -hmm. but, uh, that would teach me not to read that because mm -hmm. from the other one it doesn't have it, it's just got a wee warning. But I, I, it was only when I thought, oh, it really stinks, you know, really quite. And it does say, um, I, I had mixed it with another, luckily, but it says warning, but it, it's, a, it's a solvent. So mm -hmm. uh, that kind of made me uh, weary of looking at things yeah. um, and that. But it does go on quite easily. And you can mix them together to get a shade. Um, I'll take, take, I haven't finished this one yet, but this is the start of um, oh, it. it's poppy, but not poppy's pansy. Yes. Um, my mother likes these. Um, and you can build it right again. This is the same glasses, um, mm -hmm. and you can build them right up and mix them. And you, the beauty of it is, if you've made a mistake. You can actually, I have a wee, uh, a tool here just for scraping, taking yeah. off and give it a good clean and you can take off your mistakes before and you can actually do it afterwards as well. Once it's fired or cured or whatever you want to call it, um, you can wash them, drip dry, always hand wash, never put it in the, in the dishwasher. But Anne McGee, she's bought a couple of um, did you find? Did you use these for yourself, the gin glasses? Um, no, no, I gave them to a friend as a present, but uh, they've been absolutely fine. Yeah. She had just hand washed them. I said to her, I think you should just hand wash them, and they've been absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. So the hand, wa hand washing care, just let them drip dry. With the vases, it's not so bad, because it's a thing that you is what you would be using every day. Um, I'm starting this one for someone. It's for a retirement for someone. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, this is gin glasses. Yes. And the Duffies. Mm -hmm. I've done quite a few of these now. So they're going to be a gift for someone uh, for a retirement thing. And the gin glass has been very popular. Um, it can cover yeah. like weddings, especially just now, where everyone's not getting out. Yeah. you know to go and do shopping and that and they're looking for something different as well if i mean when if you're going to do it yourself it is it's up to yourself if you i do it freehand um some people have trace it at the back but some people use outliner you know so they can trace yeah. it at the back but i i just i go actually on pin and trace which is a great place when yeah. you go and pin and trace you're there for hours and that yeah. Um, and just source, because a lot of my stuff I feel is inspired by flora and fauna, by nature, mm -hmm. um, and feature on the glass itself. Uh, the one that's really popular just now, and they, these, are, these are ones that are actually the ones with the flammable thing, but they're actually um, the bees. Oh yeah, they're the great. They're very yeah, popular, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, so unfortunately, they were painted quite a lot with black. So these are they're kind of can I use these? And I would never um, like to put anyone at risk by giving these out. You know, even though it's a wee touch mm -hmm. there. Um, so I've got to do them. Um, this is a wee another wee vase with I just put wee sea hole a sea holly thing with, which is appropriate for ourselves. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. um, Lady Blair. So it's just a plain um, thistle, but there is, you can paint them on little glasses, like little shot glasses as well. So 
these have been yeah, quite popular know. too. Mm -hmm. yeah. like, um, especially like for, I find men are very hard to buy for. Yeah. So, and, um, what was shot or whiskey glasses, it was whiskey tumblers as well. And, um, you know, these are quite good too. Um, this is, um, I agree. Yeah. In the fiddle. Um, again, there's two of them. Again, they were painted with this, unfortunately, with a, a bit of black in them. But mm -hmm. um, people buy these and, uh, well, they come up with, some people come up with weird and wonderful um, things on them. I've had a dog, you know, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not happy painting dogs. It's not my forty, but this lady got the dog and it's a good little so she, she had that in hers and they had clouds and moons and what have you and rangers. Um, I did one where it was a huddle, um, where they were in a huddle of the Celtic bears. Oh, yeah. Of course, the watch was copyright and that, but this was a one off and it was bears round a glass, so like a, a beer glass for someone's 70th or something like mm -hmm. that. So, um, but yeah, I've seen them up with these posters as well. These are my, my own work, and um, I've got a heat place just behind me here. I don't think you can, you can maybe see it in the background. Yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I got this about six, six, seven months ago um, to help me um, clean the business, going in the different, you know, helping them can do mud places and coasters and glass chopping boards and all that. I've done earrings as well, um, all of my own work. And it's slightly diverse to find here, but um, this is my own work and earrings. So that's mm -hmm. done with a heat face as well. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Mm -hmm. So um, is it so far? Sorry, am I going too fast so far? <laughs> no. Okay. No. No. What's, your, what's your background? What's your background, Lynn? Um, my background, hold on a minute, I've just got someone at the door. Okay, no problem. Um, my background is when I'm not hopefully, hopefully not bore you all. Um, but background is when I was seventeen, I went away to college down in Edinburgh. Um, I did a two-year course in at Telford College. I think it's probably renamed itself now. Um, and I did a two-year course there in art and graphic design mm -hmm. and then I took a year out and then I applied for Edinburgh College Art. I got in and I um, unfortunately couldn't get to do what I wanted to do mm. after my foundation year because I wanted to do jewellery and sculpture mm. but um, so I was we had to apply for our places and I was number eight and there was a waiting list um, seven could get in for first year and ten um, there's a three sort of retain um mm -hmm. all together so i was number eight and they said if someone dropped out you, you can get the place mm -hmm. so i went back, back to dingo and i got a job in mackay or m and co as it's called now and uh i got the call actually that someone had dropped out but i never took it i never took that place yeah uh, it's one of these things you think well i truly believe that i would probably be back here to where i am now if even if I had taken the plate, you know, um, just because I was earning money, you know, you know, because being a student in the eighties and that, you know, any time is hard going. But um, yeah, so I ended up then being an operator for BT for ten years, and it kind of then went on from there. I was in the police control room for oh, yeah. thirteen years, cool. and then a couple of jobs, and then I went back to. Police Scotland. It was not a good start, but even I joined it. Then it was Police Scotland, and I worked in courts and warrants for three years mm -hmm. in legal documents. So, um, and then I decided that financially we were probably in a better position, but I came and decided just to uh, give up because um, I was part time and thought, right, less childcare. I wouldn't need childcare. So I decided that I'd do this full time. And it, you know, this is the years now. But and I'm not I'm not going to be well off or anything. But um, it's my passion. Yeah, you know, it is my passion, and uh, I love it when you go to 
the, the WRI show and you've got something there and, and you created it and you see some folk um, looking at it and they think, uh, oh, you know, and I'm going to tell you a funny story. Yeah, <laughs> I think cool. Anne knows this one. <laughs> and you can tell it. We were, one year, we were, we had uh, at our WRI show, we had felting. And I said, right, I thought, oh, I've never done, done felting before. I'm going to give it a whirl. I looked at the YouTube and, that, and I did this wet felting enough that I could get round a, a figure thing, a, a polystyrene head. I thought, oh, that's quite nice. It looks, you know, put it there. So anyway, myself and my mother um, and my friend, we were going around the show. As we do, because you keep going around the show and keep seeing different things every time you go around. And there was a lady there that um, was standing next to us. And my friend said, oh, you've got something in there. And I said, yes, I have. And I just sort of generalised, pointed. And I got a no, no bad mark, and because we get, we have double golds, gold and silver, and it goes down right to green. So, I mean, when you put something in and you think, oh, you know, I'm not right, and you get a reasonably good mark for it, you're pretty chaff. She says, you do that. I says, oh, we'll have to have a night, a night of doing this wet felting. Mm -hmm. So my friend, Mary, she was uh, saying, it's fine. Then this lady who we didn't know, came and joined us and she goes, oh yes, I started needle felt uh, and felting a year ago. Oh, that's great. I said, oh, you got something here. Yes, she said, this is mine. And she pointed out the doubt. And it was a lovely, it was a lovely piece. But I noticed that we both had the same star, shall we say. <laughs> so that was fine. And she was going, she started then started talking about every one of the spell things. So you can see how it's going to come along here. Mm -hmm. She was going through them all. And there was a beautiful scarf there that got a gold. It was beautiful, lovely. Done in with that uh, Nino felting, I think it was. And uh, she came to mine and she just flipped it up and she went, and as for this, she said, bog standard. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I looked at Mari and Mari just started laughing and I thought, oh no. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, my mother said, what, what, what are you laughing at? And I thought, you know, and then she realised that says, oh, I says, is this yours? I said, yes, actually it is. I says, but yeah. and then I think she tried to backtrack. I says, it's quite all right. I says, you said what you thought, you, you, you know, that's fine, you know. Yeah. And that, we used to always see, um, when it came to the handicraft show, to be mindful of folk, you know, because some people might not take it that, you know, you've got to watch what you're, when you're standing there. <laughs> oh, I don't really like that, but, you know. So um, I was very conscious of that. Yeah. <laughs> and that, yeah, that's the next year, I, I heard that, this woman, so they start the big penny stuff again. I thought, oh no, it's <laughs> actually a better way. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought, no, no, you know, we just don't know. But um, going back, anyway, I, I digress. Um, the, I started doing the glasses with myself and another three or four people. We um, worked at Eastgate Centre. Mm -hmm. um, we had a wee stall, we had a little units yeah. that are very expensive, mm -hmm. very. Um, and I think this particular time they were doing a, a deal, so it worked out better to have four of us to split the cost mm -hmm. of a pod, that, that's what they, they call it. And I think it was my friend Alison said, why don't you try gin glass? Have you tried? You should try gin, gin glasses. I go, it's not really my scene, but you know, well, I'll have a try. That's what I painted a couple of thistle ones and put them on the stall and we, we, we'd like to coordinate the stall so you know like we'd or a theme it so we'd have you know thistles and someone made cushions so we'd have thistle cushions someone made you know pictures oh and we had an art um an artist he painted thistles so we'd all kind of get in a nice theme tie it up and what have you and you know they did some they did sell and and I thought, oh, right, okay. So I then it sort of caught and on that now it's people people want. You're going with the, the demand of what people are looking for. And luckily, luckily enough, um, there's this wonderful wee um shop was 
it's really a, I know what I'd call, the, the schools have, um, it's like a carbonate, a static thing. Mm -hmm. um, but down at doors, it's called nest gifts. If oh. anyone's, anyone's in nest gifts. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's really um, a lovely little shot on the shores of uh, doors. I think she's kind of gearing it towards like old school Beaulieu, mm -hmm. um, but really nice. And um, she took my glasses in and they've sold quite well there, but she's got, she's got really got high quality stuff. And you know, she knows what she's looking for. Um, and she owns a B&B herself, uh, Fiona. But if any of you are up in the area and have the opportunity, go there. It's a lovely little place called Nest Gifts, mm -hmm. um, just opposite the doors in. Um, so there's there's been a few opportunities lately. Um, Nest Gifts, um, Highland, Highlander Museum in Fort George. Yeah. Um, again, it's the Thistle Glasses. They're not open yet to the public, but they've got online, they've got... Um, stuff for people to buy. Um, my glasses, you could see all three pairs off and they have they all sold. So she's a request in for more. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm trying to think what else. Um, Port Augustus and that. But unfortunately with COVID, no one expected COVID no, to happen. No, no. You know, it's had a real knock on effect as, as such for fears and that. But people have found in general, some of us have found that we're actually busier. Yeah. Because people mm -hmm. are sitting online and or there's no it's, word of mouth is a is a great thing as well. Um through through the WRI and um to people you know. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that's word of mouth. And Anne McGee <laughs> is one of my best customers, may I say? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she supports me very well, thank you. Um, and that, so yes, there's. Uh, and do you send do you send them out from home as well? Do you do you do you I do, do um? Can people can people order them direct from you? They can order direct to me, and um, there are there are price here if you go through, obviously. Yeah, through a shop. Yes, yeah. through a shop. Yeah. Um, because they've got their markup. Yes, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. but you can order through me. I've got an Etsy shop, which is um, mm -hmm. under Lynn Winpenny Arch. Mm -hmm. But it does Etsy, but I like Etsy because they've got lovely, they've got different things. Yeah. And Etsy, you could go in there, get things different. Again, I would say, I've, I've just started, but the bee glasses are popular. Yeah. You know, um, or Facebook, I do Facebook as well, um, and that as well. Uh, the Eastgate Centre. Well, I, I don't know that the how that's going to pan out because yeah. the Eastgate Centre is pretty dire at the moment, and yeah. a lot of shops closing and that, and you can't afford back for the prices basically. Yeah. And that. So yeah. yeah. Um, I I buy these um, paint brushes. If you were thinking of doing some yourself and um, the paint brushes I get they're not expensive and um, but they're from the range oh, yeah. we've got we're lucky we've got a range now and I'm gonna um anyone but these are 2.99 for they're not fantastic fantastic but they do the job yes but instead of spending a lot of money on them um oh. got, some of them have got a nice thin um so you get a nice fine line um, also, these are in the range at one ninety nine. I think I actually seen these in Poundland once. I grabbed a, a lot of them um, when I was there because so you can then they're quite disposable. But these here, I mean, some of these paint brushes now are, as you can see, are a lot of wear and tear. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Um, and that, but these you get you get these paints in different colours. Yeah, they can be. There's a, a website called Baker Ross. If people are familiar yeah. with Baker Ross, I think mm -hmm. more to schools, but you can get a, a nice wee, um, I think, start up one for 12, 12 little bottles, which is this size, um, 20 mil, 
for uh, I think it's fifteen pound. It, it does. It's, it works out dear. Um, white, white. You go through quite a lot of that's earth brown. And then you've got a nice sort of blue color. And how, how many? If you had, if you had, if you bought the wee ones, then Lynn, how many um, glasses could you do with with a set of wee ones? You know. Um, I would say you would probably depends what color. I think green. If you're painting a lot of things with green, which you know, flowers and that, and uh, leaves and that, you would probably get maybe like depending. I would say about twenty. I don't think you get twenty glasses. It depends. I'd say if you're painting a lot of green, you would get maybe about ten. Yeah. Ten. The colors, yeah, black and and white. I, I find that it's cheaper to buy the bigger one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hobby craft work out expensive, unfortunately. Um, they are. So I just go online and see what's the cheapest. Yeah. Um, I've got um I've got Amazon Prime uh, free delivery, so it's mm -hmm. quite good if you're needing something in a hurry and you can yeah. get it right away yeah. um but these ones you can also get pens um paint pens now i got this oh yeah do they work on glass they work on glass my my worry is that how well they'll keep on glass when you keep washing them or didn't mm -hmm. you know um because these don't go on let's see now yeah they do go in the oven you be you leave it for 30 minutes to dry and then you can put it in the oven and that but it can be you're pushing down in it quite a lot and then it stops and starts and yeah it's not not the most favorable i have to say um but that's another company called marabu which is m-e-r-a-b-u marabu um for those that's wanting to happen they, um just trying to think what else there was that you see now. When you, when you say you put them in the oven, Lynn, how, how high an oven is it? Yeah. It's 160. All oh, right, yeah. 160. Yeah. Um, now, um, it says for 30 to 35 minutes. I actually put it on just for slightly longer. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes, if I don't set a timer up here, because I kind of get involved with other things, yeah. It'll go and be a bit longer, but I've got a little um, I've got a little timer here. Mm -hmm. I can set. I use it for the basically for the heat press as well, so I can put in the time and it will go off, and then I could just go downstairs and get them out of the oven and that. But um, just I've got glasses here as well. Glasses can work out expensive. Yes, blank glasses. Um, I like. The Ravenhead um, glasses, balloon style glasses, but they got really expensive because again, that's eating. If you're doing it as a, a business, it's eating into your, you know, your profit if there's much, but um, your cost. Mm -hmm. And uh, I found that okay, as done and that done them were quite good um, to get um, things, but they've changed their branding and that so that's kind of gone out the window mm. so you've got to shop around um for them and just make sure they're good quality as well yeah i have had a few um disasters with them as in uh breakages mm -hmm. uh, which can be quite scary even you're at a craft fair and it's very windy yes um, i don't like it myself um when, we're, when it's windy um, but we were down at, there was a, there's a foyer's market going to be taking place soon and uh, we were down there last year, it was very windy and we decided no, the gazebo went inside out, mm -hmm. we broke my gazebo before we even started. No, no. Um, but and, and Tala, which is down Loch Ness, which is mm -hmm. a really nice place, they had a Christmas market last year and the second day it was windy and it just blew off a glass, smashed, and of course I had to be careful because there was, well, there was dogs for a start, yeah, you know, yeah. dog friendly and that. Um, so I lost about three glasses that day uh, with the wind and that. They can't help that. That's just 
not good, blah, blah. Okay. But um, wow. it's, you know, a thing. I'd also show you this if I can yeah. find it. So, guys, once uh, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, throw, I'll throw open to questions once um, once we've seen this, Ren, yeah, just yeah. Um, I team up with a, a friend of mine called Mart. Now he makes these. Oh yeah. What is that? But is that you know it's a the wine bottle in yeah. there and the glasses go in there. Yeah, great. Oh, you know, nice. so, um, it's a nice way of displaying the two of them yes. um, together. That's nice. Um, and <coughs> these are nice um, size as well. These oh, that's actually Tesco's as well, but it's a nice. It lends itself to some certain um, flowers as well. So um, yeah, so that's that. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Right, shall I see if anyone else has got questions? Because I've been I've been asking you loads of questions, but no, carry on. You other people will have questions, guys. Oh, Fiona, I'm going to come to you, Fiona. Just, do you have a website that people can look at your the ones that you've done? Do you keep pictures yeah. of them, put them on a website? Yeah, not a website. Um, my my um son's going to be doing that for me. Um, but I do have a Facebook page, um, which is Lynn Winpenny Art. Which the, the wind penny is W I N P E N N Y. And it's a yeah. Yeah. Go 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 on and give it a like, you know, and have a look. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Great. Um, anyone else got a question? Uh, yes, I have Holly. Oh, oh sorry. sorry, who's that? Kath, hang Kath, on. Yeah. Kath. I'll Kath. wave at you. Oh yeah, thanks. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, can you go? I'm, I'm just wondering because I, I do I've taken up felting needle felting it in this last year and I've got the opportunity that I might be able to sell some stuff locally but uh, I'm not sure about a pricing policy I mean presumably it's cost plus do you just do you just test your market and see what's sort of what it's very hard because sometimes I think I underpriced myself because I think what they, they say is two and a half I think it's two and a half times whatever but I mean the, the thin glasses I do I charge 25 pounds for the pair mm -hmm. uh, but there's people that are charging 30 I know that the um, shops that sell that glasses a lot more than that um, and it's hard to to, to see what you think because you've spent a lot of time obviously in yeah. your felting and that it's hard because you know how much time you've spent on it and how much time the, you know the goods cost but it's what people are prepared to pay yeah. for it as well mm -hmm. isn't it and yeah. um, some you know, I feel that some people have a car boot type yeah, yeah. Approach. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. they think oh and they put it down and you think and you just have to learn to have, get a thick skin and think oh, so awesome for that you know uh, but another stuff you know i think i think name i think word of mouth some if some people it's like gucci and they see they, they don't think hesitate to, uh, to buy gucci they yeah. have no qualms but they see something else that's cheaper and they go oh mm, you know it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of funny. Difficult. And yeah. that, um, when are you planning doing your... It won't, be, it won't be until um, the, the shop opens. It's a shop I volunteer at, and they, right. they said, if you ever get bits that you want to sell. I mean, it wouldn't be a lot of, a lot of stuff or anything, but it was just that, um, I mean, I once made, a, took a, made a patchwork um, waistcoat and from conception to finishing, it took about six months because it was all hand done by hand. Mm -hmm. And somebody off said, I'll buy it off you. And I said, I don't think you'd be able to afford it. And he looked very hurt. And I said, if I took into consideration how many hours, thinking, planning, doing, sewing, plus materials, then you wouldn't be able to afford it. No. <laughs> but it, it's, it, it is, you know, it's just very difficult. So we'll see. 
I'll give it a go. And they, are they charging you a, a like a shelf rental or no, no, or commission or anything? No, no, so that's good. No. Yeah, because um, I, I put some of my stuff in Highland Art Sons, that's in Car um, Grant and Spee, but they take a, a, a 20 pound a month off you. Mm -hmm. Um, some take a and mind off you and commission as well. You know, it's quite yeah. hard. Difficult, yeah. No, it would just be this one. It would just be this one and it would just be um, as and when I did stuff. So mm -hmm. it's not, you know. So what kind of stuff? Is it felt, felt like wet felt? Have you got anything there to show us? I've got lots of things, but they're over. That, that's, my, that's a little mouse that I made. That's great. <laughs> and I've made moles and hedgehogs and things and gnomes. It's oh. mainly sort of the gnomes... The gnomes, because I did some for Christmas, not this this last, yeah, I did some, and um, they seem to go, but pe like you said, people don't want to pay a lot, of because they think it's something small, <coughs> and they see that, you know, obviously there's not an awful lot of wool in it, but by the time you've finished doing it, you know, you've spent, yeah. I don't know, I mean, the little, the little mouse probably took me, because I have eyesight problems, it probably took me about three hours to do that. Mm -hmm. which you know people don't see that side of it they don't see the no. you know no. that side of it so we'll see and when you look at it you, you you know i mean the minimum wage you work out minimum wage yeah. you know and if you add that and the people won't unfortunately buy it at that that, that price as well and it's it's strange because i went to a and i wasn't going to go to it i went to a village it was outside in December and it was in Compton, just out, you know where I'm talking about, um, Polly, uh, just outside the Strath that we call the Strath, Strathpeffer. And I went there having no expectations at all. And it was absolutely one of the best fairs I've been to in a long time. People were there to buy um, and, and they had no qualms of um, how much, um, you know, they were spending. It really is quite strange um, how it works, to be honest. Yeah. But word yeah. of mouth, definitely, around this, uh, probably in everyone's area, because they know you and, if, you know, a reputation um, yeah. works. Yeah, thanks, Lynn. As well. Yeah. And I'm going to show you something. Um, uh, now, this is made out of Harris Tweed. It's actually, I wasn't going to show it, but I will. Um, it's for the handicraft show, but it was for co collage. But here, it's, it's I'm lovely. an owl addict. But um, it's lovely. kind of scary. It's, a, it's made out of Harris tweed and uh, paper and uh, various other things. But of course, Harris tweed, they have a if you if you do things in Harris Tweed, you have to have the label and all that, um, because you you got um to do with the Harris Tweed uh, authority. You have, if like if you're doing them lampshades, and that you have to put the label on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got I got three when I was on Harris last year. The lady in the shop, I bought some material and she gave me three labels. Oh no! Right. So mm -hmm. I have got three. Yeah, that's in case I want to sell it or whatever Great. I'm making from it. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Lynn's frozen now. Now. Um, oh, that's sad. But her owl's lovely. Her owl's yeah. lovely. Yeah. yeah. Fiona, you were going to ask something. What were you going to? What were you? Gonna... I was just going to ask, talking about the time to to make things. How much? How much time would it take to, you know, like put the the wee thistle on, uh, like a shot glass or something like that. Oh. That was what I was going to ask. Right. Okay. Okay. When well, he comes back, I'll. Make sure we can get that answered. Right, hold on. I can been... hear you, but I can't see Obviously, you. Obviously, we can't see you either, Lynn. Do you want to go out and then come back in again, Lynn? Right, I will do. Sorry. <laughs> so, has anyone else tried painting glass? Yeah, I've got yeah. one. Well, you've done it no. good, enough, yeah. Lynn. Joyce, anyone else? Yeah. Um, there was a kid that after school. Yeah. Great. Oh, there's Lynn back. Yeah. Yeah. Has anyone got anything like uh, painted glass, like Pauline was saying? Have they got anything there with them, or have they done it before? Or? 
Well, like, a few, quite a, that's what I was just asking. A few people yeah. have done it. Oh, there's Kat. Kat's got something. Hang on a minute. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we did that. We did this one at um, a WM session. It's, oh. Uh, but we did it with the pens. Oh mm. yes, a Rennie Macintosh style, isn't it? Yeah, oh, yes. I, I like I like the Rennie Macintosh. Yeah. yeah, with my daffodils that I made last week. Yeah. Oh, yeah, your felt daffodils. Yeah, they're lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're nice. yeah. I bet yeah. you could sell a lot of them, Kath. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they're yeah. quite we therapeutic to me. Yeah. I just we need the wire. We could start a shop. We could start a shop for a lot yeah. of us. <laughs> yeah. 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 We should have a, a WI shop, shouldn't we? Yeah. Sorry, an yeah. SWI shop. Got to get used to that. Yeah. 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 Now, if you want to, I had a, a question for you, um, Lynn. Um, Fiona, where are you? You put your hand down again. I was, I was, oh yeah. I was just oh. wondering how long it takes you to do like your wee shot glasses. You know how oh, I mean how long? Shot. What time does that take? Yeah, it must take a while. These these wee ones here. Aye. Aye. I I got better at Fiona as in like time. Yeah. Once you start doing that, you know, keep on doing it. These maybe take about an hour and a half. Yeah. Um, an hour and a half now. Each one. You know, yeah. people, I think you forget how long it, things take and that because you're, you know, you're busy consuming. But yeah, about three hours, three to four hours for that's, for the, that's just the painting. That's just for painting them. Uh, yeah, um, it's lovely. Or I've done little tumblers as well. Uh, I haven't got them here, but also there's these little. If you can see they, yeah. these can be turned into little um, tea light holders if you want. Yeah. They're, they're quite good if you, if you had like for favours for weddings. Yeah. You know, something different. You could have a, a thistle on, on these as well. But um, um, they are the glasses, depending on what's been painted. The daffodils can take a while. Mm -hmm. um, um, that, but I try to get, depending on how busy I am, I try to get um, four glasses a day. I know it doesn't sound a lot, mm -hmm. but if you've got to be, you've got to be disciplined, come out up into into this room and get get them done. Yeah. It feels like a, a definitely like a conveyor belt sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. I think Joyce has got a question for you, Marilyn. Mm. Hang on, Joyce. Oh, I was just wondering, Thanks, in, Fiona. is your inspiration from your own garden or your mum's garden? <laughs> oh, my Joyce, how are you? <laughs> I will. Um, it's not from, it's, I don't know where the inspiration from it really comes from. No, I'm not a gardener, Joyce, I'm afraid. My mother is, but I'm not. Um, I just like nature. Um, I don't really know. Um, I, it's I am inspired by a lot of sculptural stuff. I have to say, I think very much in a three D way, and I can't help that. I think it's a way I look at things. Um, so I know I was probably if I was going to see my mother's garden is inspiring, but certainly but it, not mine. I've got a lot of daffodils at the front. I think that's my my. Mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Nice to see you. You both in. You both in uh, the the uh, Russia Federation guys. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. yeah. I think um, yeah. Margaret Margaret MacArthur. I don't know if you know Margaret MacArthur. Uh, Margaret MacArthur. Are you Are you on here just now, Margaret? I am. Yes. Um. Where, right. Wait. Wave at me, and I'll see if I can find you. <laughs> Hang on, she, she sent she sent a message earlier, and I thought you might like to hear it. Hang on. <laughs> oh yes. There we go. Hello, Margaret. Hello. I see you now. <laughs> I was trying to place Lynn's accent, and I was right. Well, I said north of Inverness. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm I'm Dingle born and bred. Yes, I had a very good friend. I have a friend who lives out at Strathpeffer still, but um, no, I used to. I lived on the west coast, and I entered. I had some adventures entering the Russia Federation show in the 80s 
and I do remember going around with a very critical eye. I can still remember a stuffed toy that got a terribly good mark and you could see the stuffing through the knitting. We all <laughs> understand how they got a gold star. <laughs> and I don't know if they still do it, but the Federation used to take a tent at the Black Isle show. Yeah, sure. And um, yeah. have the, the best items on display and you could sell things there. Sure. Um, because I remember I think, selling stuff I'd made. I think Anne, Anne would probably be the best there. That stopped a while ago, didn't it, Anne? Yes, it did, because the, the, we didn't, we weren't charged for the, the, the stall. And ah. then another well-known company came in and gave an offer of a very good amount of money. And we were pushed to the very back of the showground. Yes. And it just didn't work. No. So unfortunately, we withdrew from that. But yeah. people were coming looking for us. Where are the pancakes? We've been looking for the yes, pancakes. Yes, that's right. Used to be pancake mm -hmm. making all yes. And mm -hmm. um, people could sell items and the right. Federation got a, a percentage. Yes, that's right. And you know, if you made something for a show that was absolutely no use to you, you could sell mm -hmm. it. Which was yes. Yes, you find that, that you're left with mm -hmm. things. Yeah, after the show, and because, you think, well, what am I going to do with this? You know, I remember one year one of the classes was for a V neck school jumper, and there was something like 110 entries, so everyone was trying to get rid yeah. of school jumper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. But can I, just say, can I just say, ladies, yeah. Lynn's work is beautiful, and yeah. you would not be disappointed in any way. And when she attends the craft fairs, I, her stall is beautiful. So I would recommend it to you, to everybody. Yes. It's really oh, very, very nice. Are you going to... You are her biggest supporter though, Anya. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, are you going to Wildwoods at the weekend, Lynn? No, it's no. too expensive. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. you said that before. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Then the... Then what Alm's talking about there is they're having a two-day fair up at um, near Tor um, in Loch area, and it's outdoors, but um, it's by exclusively Highland, which yeah, does go yeah. down Blair Castle and that as well. But unfortunately, it is very expensive. I did it for a day one time, and it was, I think for a stall, it was £54, and that was quite cheap for the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, plus, plus whatever, they don't have a lot of parking. There's only 66 spaces of parking. Mm -hmm. They're charging £2 for parking. Um, but I think everyone, you know, they're, they're trying to get, they want to, to display their goods, but it is very expensive exclusively. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So and we've that, got a question now from uh, Mamie. Yeah. Hello, Mamie. Oh, I'm, I'm not very good. At, I'm not very good at drawing, so I had to be go with peel offs. Oh, yeah, lovely. Oh, lovely. Lovely. Mm -hmm. lovely. Very nice. Very lovely. Now, how did you do that, Mary? Did you have did you have a, something behind the glass or? It's, no, it's just a peel off on, on the glass, and then you paint in oh, in right. the spaces. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. So that's good. just a, an idea. Yes, yes. That's a good idea. Lovely. Yep. When, did you, when did you make them? Sorry? When did you make that glass? Oh, oh about a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah, great. Great. That's it. It's kept well. That's yeah, you just done the same as, as Lynn. You paint it and then put it in the oven. Yeah, yeah. And things like that. Yeah, lovely. So... Could we have another wee look at it, Mamie? Yeah, yeah. See it again, Mamie. Yeah, it's just very cute. That's lovely. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and that's nice. Yes. That's I mean, you get different types of peel-offs. I mm -hmm. mean, I might look for a bee yeah. and then just put it that way. Yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Thank you, anyway. Once you've done a few of them, Amy, I'm sure you could try the, the, the freehand ones too, you know. Yeah. Because you can, maybe you can take, when you, if you try it and you don't like it, you can scrape off the paint, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
which is good because I've seen me saying, oh my goodness, what's that I've done there? <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. Great. Great. Well done, Mimi. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I, I can't get rid of the hand. You can't what? I said, I can't don't get worry. rid I'll of my hand. I'll put your hand down. I'll put your hand down. There we go. Okay. Nice. Um, Canadan. Hello, Canadan. Good morning. Good morning. Or afternoon for you. Yeah. Um, this was something that I did at a, a craft shop in Minnedosa. Oh, here in, in Manitoba, wow. it, but it's done with a product called Unicorn Spit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this color is Zia Teal, so the colors have strange names. It's a stain, a gel stain and glaze, and it's a water-based paint, so that was an issue. So we did, you know, we mixed the, the paints, and I've got a pair of them, uh, of course, that don't look, they've got the same colors, but there's no way to get them looking exactly the same because what we did was we used a spray bottle to put the paint on with and then, you know, did, did sort of the swirl yeah. thing to get the paint yeah. to move around. And because it's water base, we had to put uh, an epoxy on it mm -hmm. to, um, uh, to have it go uh, safe for, for washing <laughs> afterwards, but just yeah. a different, uh, different technique. Yeah. that we use that was kind of interesting. The paints are uh, available in the United States. So I'm thinking that, you know, if you ordered on Amazon, likely oh they're God. limited. Uh, the craft store that I go to, uh, Art Studio in Minnedosa has them. They have the right to sell them. And there's a couple of other places uh, across Canada that do, but yeah, they're interesting and they've got beautiful bright colors. And the thing is, when you do dilute them with water, the color doesn't change. The intensity stays the same, stays absolutely the same. So just a, a different Canadian painting on glass. Yeah, lovely, lovely. Oh, that looks interesting, huh? Yeah, they yeah. are. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Where do, you, where do you stay in Canada then? I'm, I live in the province of Manitoba, which right. is right in the very center of Manitoba. We did, we actually, I'll just run and get one. Mm -hmm. A Canadian. She's off to get a Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. My daughter and I did uh, Easter eggs that from the same shop uh, that were done with, um, with the paint. Yeah. And what we did with these was we dropped the paint onto saran wrap so you put little dots of the paint like right out of the bottle, Sprit, just put a tiny bit of water in it, and then you grab the, the saran wrap and just smushed it around the egg. Mm -hmm. So you really were never sure exactly what colors you were going to get. You had to pick your colors a little bit carefully. Um, I did do the yellow and uh, green on this nice. and um, red. There was some red with the green too. And so you had to watch that you weren't getting the mud uh, from mixing the, the complementary yeah. colors on the color wheel in it, but lots of fun. And again, then we had to spray these with a, a coating to make sure that, you know, if somebody dropped them in water, it wasn't all going to disappear on you. Yeah. So that's using the same paint. Lovely. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Well done, Anne. Yeah. You yeah. get some great, um, we've been lucky enough to go up to the States uh, few times and then the, the craft stuff over there is amazing. I wish you could yes. just go there with a, an empty suitcase and take the whole lot back. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yes, they would wonder when you went through customs, I think. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because you wouldn't yeah. have any clothes left with you. You'd you'd have you'd have put them That's to someone, wouldn't you? You'd have given them to give them to exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Thanks very much, Anne. Thanks, You're Anne. Welcome. I think I think Anne F had a question for you. Lynn? Hello, Anne. Unmute. Unmute. Um, we had um, uh, we had a two-day school. I don't know how long ago it was on glass painting. I can't remember the name of the tutor or anything, but um, we did, and I don't think we. That's um, it's oh, just yeah. a, a coffee jar mm -hmm. with uh, oh, with uh, 
but I, th I think we did them freehand. There wasn't any transfers or anything. Mm -hmm. um, we might have copied them, but uh, that was that one. And then there's another wee uh, thing that you hang in the Oh, room. that's nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, sunflower, yeah. Um, yeah. And Copy. then the other one was um, something I have hanging in the bathroom, which is a... Oh, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> So, um, I, but I can't remember putting any of them in the oven. Yeah. So, um, and they do seem to have some sort of a gutter on the, the we must in black that we must have put on first. Mm -hmm. and yes. I remember the paint sort of almost filling in between, a bit like silk painting, you know. Right. That's them. right. Yeah, like get like gutter when you're ah, doing silk it. painting, like the gutter there, so it doesn't bleed into the next one. That's right. I think that's yeah. probably yeah. That's what's happened. Some mm -hmm. But it was it was good. Um, yeah, I still some lovely. of the paints, but um, mm -hmm. I haven't had time to look those out for you. Yeah. No, it's, it's great, lovely hobby, and, and your things are beautiful. Well done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you very much. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Phyllis, you know Phyllis. Phyllis said that uh, you love hairs and owls. Have you got any? We've seen your owl, your lovely owl. Have you got any hairs? Um, n not on glass. Um, I'm just looking around here. I don't. Uh, um, no. Um, what I do do on owls is um, going away from glass painting, and there is. I have to wax lyrical about one of our members. Um, at my uh, deck to my aunt, as it were, aunt and deck. Yeah. Yes. Um, but uh, Annette McGee from Mary Barra and Conan um, Institute. She is a fantastic painter mm -hmm. and she does beautiful stones and that, um, beautiful stones, and she'd be worth having mm -hmm. sometime. But um, we, I do owls, I paint owls on stones, and my uncle, he's a collector of wood, and I kid you not, he has, as much to his wife's dismay, he has wood everywhere in Dingwall, and uh, but he's very good at seeing ones with unusual shapes for me. Yes. And um, carve usually if I get a hole and I can see it, and I can see like um, one year we had at the handicraft show, it was um, box canvas, and we had to do something with. We had it actually for three years. It was quite a popular um, one, and we had. Um, we had to do something on a box canvas. It's quite challenging. And that, and think, well, what can I do with this? So I decided that I'd reverse it. So if I can show you what I mean. Um, so you've got a box canvas that's yes. that way. I decided to use it that way. Uh -huh. And it was quite a deep one. So I thought, well, what can I do? And I love owls. I love barn owls. Yeah. And uh, I had it. Where they were in a nest and there were three of them, like a two, uh, like a, the parents and the baby. Yes. And they were curried in that. And I went and collected some sticks and that. And we've got, we're lucky I've got wood just here in the nest just beside me, uh, collecting bits of wood. And I painstakingly put all these and leaves, old dried leaves, and I, I sort of I built it up into like a nest with owls. I, I do have it on. I think my Facebook page, but uh -huh. um, I, was, I was chuffed with it because it gave it. It was the right thing. It was, um, it, you know, it, I got it across. I knew what I had in my head. It was getting dripped my head to down here, yeah. um, and that. And last, the last time we had a handicraft show, I had seen this photo of a mouse in in a nest in the grass, and I thought, right, how can I create that? So. I'd got it in a, a nest thing and uh, one of these ones you can buy and I butchered it out and I stuck it again at a burst of canvas and the stone was the mouse. So he was poking out, his oh, nose yeah. was poking out and grass, plastic grass and I'd individually stuck bits on and then my fingers, I'd actually, it was this fancy stuff my husband used, a two-part glue where you put the glue on and then you spray it. And I get terrible. I get it all over the shop. Well, I think I took my skin off my fingers a few times, and that. But I was chuffed with that one. Um, that was that turned out well. But um, 
we've stopped doing that. The challenge is that if we do have this handicraft show, is a decorated table tennis bat. Oh yeah. So, um, and yeah, I've, I've I've thought out of the box, but I don't I think I've maybe thought thought too much out of the box. <laughs> this one. Um, and that, but um, the um the owls, yeah. The, I've done a lot with the painted stone, and they put them on. Um, we had one again. It's probably in Linwin Penny Art, but it was an unusual branch and a barn. Sanded it and varnished it. Mm -hmm. And then I, um, I got my husband to screw the thing in for me on a base, and then we had owls sitting on it, all painted stones. Yeah, um, yeah. and that went to a shop, and it, yeah, it did sell. Oh, so it's chaspy, you know. Yeah, yeah. So um, and I'm just going to show you one more thing. It's not painted. Uh -huh. Not painted um, thingy. <laughs> we had in our handicraft show. We had to do something with buttons. So um, this is my effort. It was a kind. Of, it was out of the box. So here is the button. The button for the cork flowing out of the yeah. thing yeah. with um. A glue gun giving the, the feeling of it yes. flowing down and that. But um, yes, it's like them cakes you see. Yes, yeah, the yeah, <laughs> the cake kind of things, yeah. But it's, it's survived, it survived here anyway. <laughs> that's good, that's good. <laughs> Is that for <clears throat> the next show, did you say? Sorry? Is that for the next show, yeah? No, well, that was for the show we had. Um, It'll be two, well, it'll be mm -hmm. roughly two years last year. Two years, is it, Anne, since we had two a years, I think, yeah. yeah. Yes, two years, yeah. I think that was in, in an item for two years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. we're, we're waiting, hopefully, we're hoping that we'll, because it's been postponed till October, so we're hoping that handicraft show goes ahead. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I, think, oh. uh, I think Joan has a question for you, mm -hmm. Joan. Thank you. Hi, I've enjoyed your talk. I did this probably 15 or 20 years ago, and I can see now when I get it out how it's faded. Um, but it attracts the dust and sort of clings to it. I don't know whether there was anything I could have coated it with to have stopped that happening. I don't know because it's got that, I see it's got that, like, I think it's called leading maybe, or yes. um, like gutta, yeah, yeah. On, on that. And yeah, because of the curves and that, it's, I can see what you mean, trying mm -hmm. to get the dust out of the curves and the rows and that. It, it's difficult. Yeah. Uh, and I found that very hard to do. I can pipe cake icing, but trying to pipe this stuff out and not get little lumps in it was really difficult. So I like the idea that you're doing it without any of that on, but how long do you leave it between each color? Well, um, I generally leave it. If I'm, if I'm doing if I'm doing this, I'll start at the top, and I'll wait. I'll do this first of all because guaranteed you put your finger on it or something and it'll be splodgy. But I usually leave it about thirty minutes for that, and then continue on here. Um, for that one. Further, Lynn. Sorry, we we're, we're not seeing the glass yet. Oh, right, sorry. Thirty minutes. I would say, but well, that's just my own. Well, I do that colour first and then let it dry, then I start. But then that can dry quite quick and I just carry on. Mm -hmm. I always clean the brush, clean the brush up after each one, because if not, you're you're contaminating, you know, like if you've been using green and then if you don't clean your brush, then you put it in purple, you've got green in the purple. Um, I know it's probably granny sucking eggs here, but... Um, important, important point to you know, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, just to watch, the, especially if you're going into a fight and you've got, I've done it myself, I'm looking, I've got, oh my goodness, it's got green in it mm. because I've been mm -hmm. lazy yeah. um, and that, and not cleaning the brush. I just use stuff that my um, husband has taken home, stuff to do that. And once it's come out of the oven and it's all, um, cooled down and everything. I've just been using elbow grease glass cleaner just to make sure I've got all the, because you do get marks on it because you've been fingering it. Yeah, yeah. And what have you. 
um, I'm making sure it's all clean. Um, yeah. It's going in. Yeah. So what do you clean it with before you start? To make sure before, there's no grease. Before I start hmm. painting it. Painting. I, would, well, I just give it a, a clean, actually, just with this, not with anything on it, just um, a, a good, good clean with that. But I find that we've got a dog, a husky, that is continual hair, and I've actually found a hair in there. Is, I don't know how, because he's nowhere near here, um, but his hair is a track glass, something rotten. Yeah. And he's, I'm finding little curly hairs in here just now of his, but um, yeah. So, yeah. Thank you. I was encouraged to get the paint out because I found it last year when I was clearing all the cupboards out of all my craft stuff. I found it and I thought I've never used it. I've got six bottles of, of paint and a few odd ones from this. So I must have bought a, a kit to do this sometime. Yeah. But... <laughs> <clears throat> That's great. I'm, I'm wondering maybe uh, like a, one of those Johnston Q-tips. I don't know. Maybe that might get, and you know, if you maybe wet it a wee bit, that might mm -hmm. get a wee nooks and crannies, I don't know. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. Well, it, it's done its turn. It, it's, it could go out, really. <laughs> 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 I, I never put anything out. <laughs> well, I, know, I know the feeling about a lot of things, so you do the thing. <laughs> yeah. Great. Thanks very much, John. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, now, I've got a question from iPad. I'm sorry, I don't know your name, iPad. I, I know that you're there, but... Would that be me? I think it is, yes. Yeah, Hello. I can't ask you to uh, your video because it's, it's not it's not letting oh, me. My, my, um, my it's brother. My it's my mother. <laughs> it's <Okay>. mother. <laughs> no, Lynn. <laughs> uh, Lynn, I notice you haven't shown them anything of your painting, and it is glass that you've done with uh, the boards, your uh, chopping boards. Have you heard oh. me? Okay. Yeah. 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 But uh, I also have learn learn. Yeah. Yeah. I've also I've also got a question, uh, an answer for Joan that was just on oh, yeah. right. uh, when you said that that was actually cathedral window painting that you would have done with oh, with the lead, um, and it is uh, it will be hard because I we did a course on that a number of years ago in Russia Federation. And not only is it hard to do, okay. it's also um, quite, well, you have to be very careful that you don't touch, get the lead anywhere near your mouth or anything like that. You have to be so careful when you're loose, using the lead to make the shells, that the, the make the shapes. Yes. So uh, that was just an answer for Joan. It's called Cathedral uh, Window um, Glass Painting. Oh, thank you. Great. <laughs> well, was that what the was that um the lead was what the, uh, the hatter came about, isn't it? Because they That's used good. lead in, in making hats. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. No, that's mercury. Oh, mercury. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I think. Yeah. We got lead poisoning with lead yeah. pipes, with water. Yeah. yeah. That's right, yeah. Yes. The Roman Empire. <laughs> the Romans, they were all mad. Sorry. <laughs> well, they reckon that's one reason they maybe did go mad, that they got lead poisoning. Yes. From yes. their water pipes. <laughs> oh. Yes. I can hear you still, everyone, but I can't see you. you see me? Um, no, we, can't, we can see you. Hang on a second. I'm going to ask you to start video, Lynn. So I, ca I can't see you right, neither. I'll right, start with you. There we go. So, you must just have a wee timer on it or something, Lynn, that it likes to go off your phone. All right. Oh, oh. oh. thank you. <laughs> You've gone off again. I've gone off again. Um, there we go. Yeah. yeah. So, can you see, can you see me? Yes. Yes. You can. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, but what, um, 
part or my mother was talking about was um, uh, I do heat press my own artwork on stuff, as I mentioned earlier, and it's on a glass chopping board. If anyone's interested, I'll just show you. Yeah. I mean, this is just a Highland cow. Can people see that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep it higher, Keep it higher Lynn. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's of oh, yeah. an image that I did a while back. But um, is anyone familiar with the caustic art? Yes. In, in caustic art, where they work with wax yeah. and, uh, and iron. Mm -hmm. If anyone's familiar yeah. with that, John, John where said. you get a little travel iron type thing and you get wax. And it is, it's a wonderful, wonderful medium where it's so free and um, kind of abstracty and to do with me. You want to find something. So we had a class in Dingwall for it and it was wonderful. Um, and by a lady up north, Maureen, she's very good and she was very generous with both her time and her um, uh, material. Mm -hmm. this, um, this is a uh, Hold it up if you can oh, see yeah. that. Oh, it's like um, that's just an uh, image I had of a copy which I cut most um, onto glass. Okay. Yeah. Let's just try and get the image of the. Well, I also do photographs um, on them, so if you're taking a photo of a red squirrel up down in Abimore area, and that's them on a shopping board. Oh, lovely. Oh, see that? Oh, that. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so he's quite a, a, a chunky fella. Sometimes it's quite nice, I just, my auntie um, with her birthday open, and I've got a lovely photo of her son and his wife. They live in um, near San Francisco, and the two kids, and it's a shadow at the beach, and it's beautiful. And it was on a shopping board for her, and it, she was that chuffed with it. Yeah. It was yeah. Really, um, kind of thing. Lovely. Uh, I, think, I think Mamie's got another question for you, and then Lynn, Leslie's mm -hmm. got one too. Hold on a sec, Mamie. Oh, well, this I asked my friend if she could make me a thistle and uh -oh. a shamrock. Uh -oh. And I'm done with um, leaded stuff like the other ladies, Macintosh Patrick. Yeah, mm -hmm. lovely. And there's done that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, lovely. Oh, yeah, lovely. So yeah. that was that. But then, as I say, that that's nice. added glass, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's lovely. Yeah, thank you. Lovely. Um, uh, and Leslie, Leslie, yeah, it is. This oh, is yeah. one that's done with the caustic art and then like abstract copies. Oh yeah, lovely. Mm -hmm. And that's on a chopping board. Um, but it was originally done. I did it on a wee slate coaster. Um. But it's, it's very free. If you ever, ever, anyone ever gets a chance to do your caustic art, it's mm -hmm. wonderful. Really, really wonderful. And um, free. Um, so if you do it and not a little travel iron um, as well, again, these things are expensive to buy. Um, and that, but uh, yes. So, so why why are you saying that you need a travel iron, not not just a normal iron? Um, well, the, the one the caustic irons you get are very similar to travel irons. Um, I don't know is the answer to that question. I'll be honest. Smaller um, and more nimble. Smaller. Higher, I would imagine the temperature would be higher. 
and a, a, an iron that right. could be the liability oh. of them. Um, it's uh, burning the oh. paper because it's special paper, like shiny paper, and, that. and it, it, the beauty of it is that you can go over it again if you don't like what you've done. Mm -hmm. You can go over it; it reheats. It, 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 it's, yeah, it's okay. great. Great. That's a good tip too. Wesley, what were you wanting to ask? Just something that we did with glass art. There's a studio in Gedda. You can go and do glass painting, so you can buy whatever glass you want, whether it's the wine glass or whatever. I actually took a bottle with me. Oh, I don't know if I can see yeah, it. Um, oh, yes. Transfer from the bottle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, lovely. And then you blast it. Oh, yeah, cool. So you get your little... Where's that? I can buy it from that that would that would be down near Hoy. Yeah. Yeah. It was in it's in Jedza. Uh, I think it's Route sixty six or something. Mm -hmm. Um, but the lady's an art. I think she's a silversmith to trade, but she does glass art and she does that thing where you can build up layers within, like does trophies. So you would get a wee cube about that size. But she's got a picture in the middle of it that she's built up the laser. In. Oh, yeah. Um, but you can do glass etching, you can do glass paint, and you can do pottery paint, and just whatever. So it's yeah. quite good that you go there and see what the materials so you can You can take some of yours and decorate it and see if that's fine. So you can buy things there and decorate it. Mm -hmm. Have a cup of coffee in the blender with some other folks. So it's quite nice. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Feel arty for that a little while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then you can put lights in it and it looks lovely. So well done. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Liz. Lynn's right, Ren's yeah. writing it all down. Yeah. <laughs> that right, Lynn. Yeah. How you learn yeah. things. Yes, it is. Yeah. It is. Uh, so um has anyone else got any questions for Lynn or shall we? Shall we yeah. uh, Irene Irene McDonald has got a hand up for Irene. Irene, hang on. Hang on. I've given a wave, Irene. Is there? Hello? Can you hear me? Uh, yeah, Pauline's just trying to find you. Oh, yes, I see you now, Irene. You're right at the end. There we go. Hello, Irene. Hi. Uh, can I just ask Lynn a question, please? Yes. yes. Hi, Lynn. How are Hi. you doing? Not too bad yourself? Oh, not bad at all. Not bad. <laughs> Unfortunately, I missed the beginning of the uh, talk because I couldn't get the sound on. Oh, but right. what was the what were the paints that you were using? The the paints, Irene. Have you, have you got a pen and paper to take a note of them? Could you maybe type them into chat and we can all see them? Right, go on. Um, right. the, the, the paint, the, the brand, it's called Peebo, which is P-E-B-E-O. That's like the silk paints, isn't it? See, so, yeah, they do silk paints also. And yeah. it's called Vitre, V-I-T-R-E-A-160. V-I-T-R-E-A-160. -E and the 160 stands for you know the hot temperature, um, right, right in the oven, and that's for it's a water based um, glass paint. I I find they are they are good. Yeah, because I've um, done the glass painting before, but to be quite honest, I can't remember what paints I used. I think it was just kind of acrylic or something, and I've never done them in the oven. So yeah, but and that would be more permanent, wouldn't it? Yeah, they, they are. I mean, they, you think, mm, you know, you you test it out yourself, which I did, you know, to see how it, one, it would fare, would it lose any of its colour, would it come off, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. And that, but it seems they're a good make. And right. And the paints are good as well. Um. And you were just when that you can get you can get the starter pack. Yeah, you were talking about starter pack. Yeah, and Irene, if you have a look at Baker Ross, or you can just put in um, people, but Baker Ross do the little ones. I think there's about a dozen 
if I remember right. Now, the little right. ones are 20 mils. Uh, the bigger yeah. bottles are 45 mils, but they have a selection of colours to start, start you off. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that. And they, I, I found that when I went back into again, that I, I got them initially. And then when I was running out, I would just order bigger. The, the hobby craft are, are fortunately, you know, a bit more expensive. Yeah, they do tend around. to be expensive, though. I usually do it online anyway for things like that. So, so that was fine. It's just as I say, I, I saw, I could see what you were doing, but I couldn't hear you. So. <laughs> Well, oh, that's I'm so everyone, but I can't see anyone just now. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. That's fine. That's given me the information I want to know. I've enjoyed your talk. It's been good. No, thank you. And um, just watch. There's two different. As I don't know if you heard me say this, but there's two. There's a bitter real, which is B I T R E I L. Now that is flammable. All oh, right, so okay. We'll that, you know, because um, that obviously doesn't go in the oven. I could have set set the house not for the first time. I had um, a light <laughs> with an iron. <laughs> Last time it was an iron. I'm not very good with irons. Um, but yes, so just, just I'll steer be... clear of that one. <laughs> 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 I put an asterisk against it, so that'll be all right. <laughs> Not. <laughs> okay, good to talk to you, Lauren. Thanks. And you, dear. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. Have we got any, any more questions? Anyone wants to say anything before we? Oh, Moira, Moira, yep, yeah, coming to you. Hi, Lynn. Hi, uh, dear. <laughs> Very thanks. Um, I just wanted to ask, when you put your glass, when you've painted it and you put it in the oven, do mm -hmm. you put it on anything? What do you put it on when you put it in the oven? Hi Moira, good to hear from you. Um, what I do is I usually take out obviously the, you know, the box as it were, and I put it in the bottom. But I put um, it on a, like a baking tray, but I put um, foil on the bottom because obviously you're going to get stuff on you know it's going to get marked by whatever is in the oven but I usually if I, I push maybe four sometimes but two because I keep them well spaced out and I'm putting them in the oven and I put foil on the bottom of it and right. um, the timer on as I say and you take it out and let it cool for a good while. Um, I usually leave it overnight, actually. Okay. Um, if I can. Um, but yeah, I put foil in the bottom, which is That's good. a good point. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Well, as usual, we love all the work you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <clears throat> um, anyone? Anyone? I just want just want to share my only in, um, experience with glass painting. Mm -hmm. What's that? Well, when I was a very young teacher and just started, I taught at a school and the headmaster asked me, he had a plate, it was St. Benedict's School, and he had a plate, which was like a stained glass picture. And he said, um, Miss Hamill, because I was Miss Hamill, it, I'd like you to paint this on the one of the windows in the school. So I got the paints, I painted all this, went up at weekends, did it all practically nearly got it finished and vandals came and broke the window. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh no, what a shame. Oh. Well, that, was the, that was the end of my glass painting. <clears throat> Gunner, I think Scunner does the work there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thoroughly enjoyed your talk, Lynn. Really good. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Yes. Thank you for that. Thanks, yeah. guys. Um, any more questions just before we... Wrap up. Any more for any more? No, I think you've answered them all in. I think you've answered mm -hmm. them. Well done. Well done. Thank you very much. So I'll just get everyone to give you a little round of applause. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. I think everyone's um, off to Baker Ross now on online. And you're you're what you're um you're Lynn Winpenny Art on Facebook and Baker mm -hmm. Ross. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
and I, I am, I'm not getting commission from them, I can assure you. No, no, no. <laughs> but Anne, Anne McGee is getting commission from you, yeah? <laughs> She's my PR, actually. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, everybody needs 